What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. So today we are actually in Korea. And you'll see this video come out probably in a couple weeks. And it's gonna be a good one because it's nice, it's sunny, and the pool is fantastic. Yeah, yeah like we had to take advantage of this amazing pool that is, spoiler alert, right off of our room. Um, <laughs> so, what are we gonna do today? We're doing a Q&A because we didn't do one in a while. It, it's time for you to we catch up with people. us. A lot of new people. Yeah. We get a lot of questions, so we picked up the most popular one and we're gonna address them today. And on top of that, we're also gonna address the recent drama on social media about your favorite travel vloggers, Dave and Tracy. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Tracy. You know, mine as well. Oh yeah, that's fair. You guys My don't understand. Tracy. You guys don't understand how many times in a day when we're in public or on social media, how many people still think that Tracy's name is Manny. Manny so, is a last name. Yeah. I just let it go because it's not wrong. We're right. both Mannies, but that's Tracy, and I'm Dave. Just in case you don't know, that's the name of the channel. Okay, question number one. So the scariest travel experience that we've had, and lucky, we have two, one each. <laughs> just you because. Start. Okay, so the first one actually kind of goes into a little bit of a culture shock as well. Mm -hmm. um, so when we are in Samburu, there's like a checkpoint there, and. Let me start off by saying that in Canada, the military aren't in the streets. Like, you don't see that. In Canada, if the military is in the street, it, something, something is really yeah. wrong. So, and I've experienced that before, even in Paris. Yeah, like, in Europe is the Paris. same. The military is much more present, but it, yeah. in Canada, it's not something that we're used to. No. So, having that presence and that checkpoint in general um, was very stressful for me because I am a very nerv nervous person. Um, and I just wasn't used to it. So yeah, it was, I was like, it was why a lot are of people, people with guns uh, you know, around? yeah, a lot of people with guns, a lot of people like, you know, from buses with all their personal belongings yeah. in the middle of the street and everything. Like, it, it was, it was quite something. It was uncomfortable for me. Yeah. But, but it's gonna happen again. Yeah. Now I know how to act. It's, it's, it's okay. part of it. It's part of it here. <laughs> it's not that it's not gonna scare us away. No, no. For no, no. me, <laughs> my most scary moment travel in general and in Kenya as well. Um, so I don't know if you guys remember, we did a canine video with the, uh, the, the, the canine unit from yeah. Opejeda. While I was filming uh, with them, at some point in that video, if you want to go check it out, <laughs> uh, Tracy goes back into one of their military truck or yeah. whatever. And as she's climbing into the truck, I'm filming while walking back a little. And <laughs> oh, then, oops, sorry. <laughs> And then at some point, I hit the electric fence the that is electric that is supposed fence. to stop elephants. So I got a, a serious electric shock. I didn't say nothing. I kind of froze for a second. You didn't, yeah. And I was I didn't want to look at my arm that yeah. actually hit the fence because my arm was hurting and burning so much yeah. that I thought that. It was gonna be black or something, but I actually I do have like a tiny scar now. I don't know where it is. I don't know now. where it is, but I, I do have a tiny. Yeah, he gets in the truck so. and goes, um, um, can you look at my arm? And I'm like, why? He's like, I just touched the fence. Yeah, <laughs> and it hurt. Anyway, so that was the scariest <laughs> travel experience we've had, and now we're gonna try to keep this Q and A interesting. So see you in the next scene. Question number two. What is our dream sponsors? We both have one. Different. I'll start. Yeah. Uh, mine is Land Rover. And guys, I already have the video idea, the concept in my head. I, I want them to just give us, not forever, but just for like a few days, a, a brand new Defender with a tent on, on top. And then we're going to bring it, do some off-roading in Kenya, go do some camping and safaris with it. Like, oh, that would be so cool. So that's me. <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> mine would be working with Qatar Airway. So the thing is, you see all these people who do like the first class with Qatar. Uh, that would be phenomenal. It's a goal, like bucket list thing of mine to go first class at some point, and Qatar is like the best one. I think so. That's very expensive. So I would love to work with Qatar. <laughs> so those are dream sponsors, but those are like big leagues oh, sponsors. Yeah. So don't forget to subscribe to this. Uh, channel because we we need more people <laughs>
So as we were having our wonderful supper by our chef, who's right, right there. He's back. He's hiding. What was our worst ever travel experience? And we have a good one for you. Okay. So the worst one that we ever had was actually before we started this entire channel. This was back in London. Um, we had an Airbnb. <laughs> I don't even know if I can go. Anyways, we showed up at this Airbnb in London and we slept in clothes, needless to say, and um, didn't even put the sheets on the bed because they were still soaking wet wherever they were. Anyways, um, yeah, that was probably our worst travel experience that we've ever had. <laughs> as soon as we entered at Airbnb, we noticed some black mold everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> the smell was so bad. It was just dirty everywhere. We really thought about like leaving and, and that never going happens. somewhere else like, and that never, never happens. <laughs> but like we were just too broke for that option. <laughs> so we just stayed there. Thankfully, we were there, just there for one night. We just slept in sweatpants and so, hoodies to not so touch things. That was pretty bad. <laughs> okay, question number three. What is the one thing that annoys you the most about each other? Do you want to go first? <laughs> I go first. Well, funny part is, is we had this conversation like three hours ago. Whatever she says, don't believe her. <laughs> There's camera proof. <laughs> is that... He doesn't listen to me in the sense of not like crazy, <laughs> but like, I'll be like, okay, like we need to leave at like, let's say 845. It's 820. Okay. We need to leave in 25 minutes. <laughs> and he starts getting mad at me. I know. I know. Okay. Just, it's 830. For, we need to leave in 15 minutes. 845. We're supposed my, to be gone. Oh, I need like defense, five more minutes. For my defense. I just, I always do so many things. Like I just have so many things to do all the time. Yeah. But ask for help. Yeah. <laughs> Oh well, for timing, me, timing. for me, it's Tracy leaves <laughs> dirty dishes every where in the house. Do you want to talk about your socks? All the time. No, my socks, my dirty socks. I leave them in like one spot and then. No, like, you I, don't. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Wherever he takes off his socks, that's because, where his dirty socks. Because stay. when I hey, it's one thing that annoys you about your partner. <laughs> just when I have like, it's not dirty. Well, it's dirty socks, no. but it's just when I'm done training and I come back from a run, the first thing I want to take out is my sock. Anyway, <laughs> Tracy leaves dishes everywhere. Yeah, it's not gonna <laughs> change. <laughs> Question number four: How do we book our trips? Because you guys know we travel a lot. So, Tracy, take it away. Okay, so when we go to book, there is. A bit of a big process because we do it all on our own basically um short version is find the price from the hotel find the price off third party sites like booking or expedia not sponsored um and even for flights so for stays for flights look at reviews on tripadvisor and then you want to compare all of the prices and then you find your cheapest option and book from there um i go in a little bit more in depth about this on a video that i did before we left to dubai it's like getting ready for dubai so we'll link that down below and there's actually a blog post too. So check out those, they go more in depth about it. Question number five, what is our dream destination? Do you want to go first? Um, <coughs> oh, <laughs> boys. Um, mine is either Bali or the Maldives, but like we got to do it right. So we have to save up a lot for yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, Tracy's a little bit more about like, you know, beach and relaxing. I want a packed trip. So my destination that I've never been before is Japan. I really want to go mm. see Japan. Never been on this side of the world. Plus they have a great Disney park. But <laughs> the culture, the food, the city, that would be my spot. Yeah. Tracy, what is your favorite Kenyan food? Uh, and dengu. Dengu. And you guys know me. It's chapati. <laughs> so now that we are back home, let's address the social media drama that was going on about us. But first, we, thank want, you. we <laughs> want to thank you everyone that voted, that voted for us for yeah. the Travel Influencer of the Year uh, with the Pulse Radio Station. That was amazing. Means a lot to us. You guys have no idea. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah. But not everyone is happy about it. Can't make everyone happy, I guess. <laughs> Never. So lied. there was a little bit of drama yeah. um, about that nomination, about the, our win, and we're, we're gonna address that yeah. real quick. 
So let's start off by saying we didn't even know we had been nominated for this award until people started tagging us on Instagram yeah. on the thing, okay? We did not initiate this. We had nothing to do with it. It was all people who wanted to support us and kind of like congratulate us on our year, basically. Yeah. Um, one of the arguments, which you know what, I'm not going to lie, I can understand where people are coming from this, is we are not Kenyan and we've won that in, in Kenya. Yeah. And I, I totally understand your point. Yeah, that, that is completely fair. And you know, like a lot of people are tagging us or tagging Magical Kenya saying like, take those guys as your travel ambassador and everything. And even if they would give me that opportunity, I wouldn't do it because the that is a Kenyan game. position. Yes. A Kenyan should be able to promote their own, country. their own country. Just like I would want a Canadian to be the Canadian travel ambassador. Yeah. It just makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so. It, we love promoting Kenya because there's so much beauty and things to do and everything. We love doing it. Yeah. But I wouldn't be the travel ambassador for, for Kenya. Country. Makes no sense. Yeah. So just that being said, um, it was everyone in Kenya who voted for us, and or actually, I think if you're outside of Kenya, I think if you yeah, had yeah. the link, you could vote too. Um, but yeah, you guys voted for us, and we won, and we are very, very grateful for that opportunity. I don't want that to get lost. Like, no. No. Super, super happy. <laughs> So the other thing that kept coming up, and I'm sorry, we're just gonna have a little like moment here yeah. and brag on hard work, <laughs> if that makes yes. sense. <laughs> because we have worked our butts off to get to where we are right now. So a lot of things yeah. that was going on on social media was just saying that basically like everything was given to us since we arrived. Trust and that, fund kids, that yeah, comes up Yeah, trust fund kids, and yeah. that we just came here with millions and that all the company just wanna work for, work with us we and everything and like that is really bit, yeah that is really not what happened but you guys need to understand that like finally like lately yes yeah. it happens a little bit more but we have more opportunity uh with with camps and hotels restaurants or whatever and and we're really happy about yeah. it we're really thankful for it because it makes life easier on our side not gonna lie yeah. but like you need to understand that before this happened within the last month or two there's two years of work where nothing happened there's two years of us like putting, at first we were putting three videos a week. And during that time frame, like I was working shift work back home in Halifax and I would come off a 12 hour shift and we'd film for like, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours to do a yeah. recipe to make sure a video yeah. was able to promote and I'd still go to work the next and day. We like, didn't, and we didn't start our YouTube channel by reviewing five star no. resorts <laughs> and luxury safari camp in the Masamara. That nice That's, to start off that yes. way. But that's not how it happened. At first, I was just, you know, doing chit chat with the camera, yeah. doing home vlogs, a ton of like recipes, Disney, Disney recipes in our own kitchen, uh, yeah. reviewing like free tourist destination in our own city. Like, there's a lot of like we started with an iPhone and no money. Yeah. And even now, like even in Kenya, people think we were completely online, which that is true for me right now. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but for you, you're still in office. I work in an office. Like you an just office got home. Job. Yeah, <laughs> I work an office job, 40 hours a week. Then I come back home. Yeah. I did for three, four hours, and then every weekend we leave. We just rush film and then come back on Sunday afternoon. Then I edit again Good and then I go again. back to my, <laughs> my, my full-time job on Monday. So we yeah. spend zero quality time together. In fact, I actually texted you today being like, okay, two hours tonight, we're like, it's just us. And I was like, I need to edit this video <laughs> yeah. that you're watching right now. I love you. So anyway, uh, you know, we, we are very fortunate. We, we appreciate yeah. everything that we have. But like, this came you guys need to and understand. And we are not discrediting anyone no. who is working hard on their YouTube channel. We're just saying like, it takes, well, it's been two years basically until we started to see like something actually come out of it more yeah. so. Um, but yeah, just don't give up, keep working hard and it'll happen. Yeah. And we still, we are still very, very far from making a living from this. Extremely far. Oh yeah. Um, right now, if I leave my job, we can live out of YouTube if we don't mind living in the Land Rover. <laughs> And, and eating craft dinner? Eating craft dinner. That sounds about That's right. pretty much it. <laughs> so anyway, that was our little rent. Uh, you know, thanks. It doesn't happen often. <laughs> no. Thanks again for everyone that voting for us. We because, really like, appreciate you. And, and, and you know, the, the amount of people that were like, uh, you know, mad on internet about very that. Very low. Very low. Okay. But it yeah. made a lot of noise. But you guys, 
came to the rescue yes. real quick because those people got a lot of messages. But that's Not what... very nice from you guys defending us, which I really appreciate. But what makes me happy is seeing our core audience and it's you core audience is probably watching to the end of this video. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know that part of us, you know we working hard, you see the Instagram stories throughout the week. So I'm just thankful that we have pulled together a core audience. Thankful for you. <laughs> so that Stop is you it. moment. <laughs> We appreciate it. Yeah. Anyway, so that is it. Q&A done. Q&A done. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys. In a happy next one. <laughs> where, where we won't rent. No, 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 we're so, done. We're promise. Done. <laughs>